Hey guys, what's up? Matt here from Loon Outdoors, and today we're going to be tying a spin on uh, Cowbird's Bird's Nest. I call this one the Freebird 516 Firehole Sticks. Anywhere from a size 10 to an 18 bead size and color of choice. Some .15 non-lead wire to support the bead and add some extra weight. So we'll do about 10, 12 turns. And we're gonna shove that wire into the bead. It's gonna hold it in place and create a very nice little ramp up for our thorax. I'm gonna start our Vivas 50D behind the lead wire, taking it to the beginning of the turn of the hook. Trim off the excess. And we're gonna introduce some lemon wood duck as our tail. I really love wood duck um, for tails. If you have trouble finding that, you can also use some uh, mallard. Mallard will come in a bazillion different colors. And you know, you could throw a hot pink tail in here and uh, a, st a standard colored bead and you know, mix this pattern up any number of ways. <clears throat> So once I have the tail tied down, we'll go ahead and wrap forward, trim off the excess, and we'll go ahead and start lashing down our non-lead wire. You can do that before or after, it doesn't really matter. Um, the fly is gonna be 100% complete. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a BR uni wire or ultra wire in a brown. You could also use small, depending on the size of your fly. Or if you're tying this really big, because you could tie this maybe up to an eight or a six even, um, if you wanted to, if you have an application, and you can adjust your size of wire for that. And again, your bead side uh, size, sorry, is uh, depending on your sink rates that you're looking for. This is like a 3.3 mil slotted hot tungsten bead. And so I'm going to use some UV ice dub and tan. It's an amazing translucent color. Um, you can use browns, blacks, um, blues, purples. Um, you can tie this fly any which way, and he'll probably actually be a mallard to match most of those options. So remember, press as much of the color out of your nails beds as possible to get a super good dubbing loop. And we'll just go ahead and start to palmer. Now, after you have a few wraps in here, I'm going to pull the wire backwards, which will allow us to support uh, yeah, or, you know, support the dubbing noodle and uh, counter rib this. A little bit of bugginess here isn't a bad thing. I'm going to reprint the dubbing, you know, dubbing noodle. And we're going to continue all the way up to the thorax. I build a little bit extra in my thorax section just because I like a little bit of a, a step up there. So we're going to counter wrap with our uni. And you can take these turns as wide or as narrow as you like. Um, we're going to bring that all the way up to the bead just to make sure this fly is bomb proof and it's going to last for a lot of fish. I typically will hide the tag end of the wire inside the slot of the bead. We're going to pull off about 10 to 12 more little strands or, you know, from the, uh, the wood duck and make sure they're somewhat even, although evenness is not the most important thing here. This is a great fly for filling a box in a multitude of colors. And if you're looking at the front of the fly and you're imagining that the hook point is at six o'clock, I'm going to be tying these in at three and nine. Top of the fly would be 12. Um, and they're just a nice, sparse, little leg, great segmentation, and a little longer than you may need, but it's going to help provide some good action and help you catch more fish. We'll go ahead and trim off the excess. And I'm gonna use some ice dub peacock black just to make like a darker thorax section. And again, you can change this up to be any colorway you want. You could use more of the tan. Um, realistically, like I said, the sky's the limit here. The bird's nest is one of the best patterns probably ever created. It's uh, very suggestive and catches just a ton of fish. 
So we'll go ahead and do a whip finish here, making sure, pull that in nice and tight and trim off the excess. And that is the Freebird. Hopefully this helps fill your box. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you next time.